Hey, hey, hey! What's up, people? Happy 4th! Happy 4th! Yeah. Alright, guys. You're manifesting your dreams. You are manifesting your dreams. You are. You're being in the flow, you know? You know, you got to be in the flow. Even if somebody leaves you or even if you thought you were going to be with somebody and it didn't happen, it's okay because guess what? Maybe they weren't meant to be in your life. Maybe they were there to teach you a lesson, but you still have to be in the flow within yourself, of yourself, because everything that shines, it doesn't mean it's it's gold, you know? Even sugar looks like salt, right? And I've said that before, but it's the truth though, right? Believing in magic and in miracles, you know? L looking deeper, like I just said, Deep within me is a majestic radiance, right? Yeah. Whoever's watching, you're radiant. You know? But you have to look, 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 <laughs> look deep within. Because whatever shines, right? It might shine like diamonds, right? But is it really a diamond? You know? That's another thing. But you have to look looking deeper, looking deeper within your soul and their soul, you know? Who are they? But before you even ask, who are they? Who are you? Do you know who you are? Try to figure out who you are first. Why would you want to figure out who they are? Figure out who you are first, you know, healing the past. This is what I've been doing, healing the past, you know? You gotta heal the past in order to move on. And like I said, you probably be watching my videos and I, I go through it sometimes. We all do, but what are you going to do? You do what you got to do, right? But you still have to evolve within yourself, you know? You accept. You, you accept what is, and you move with the flow, looking deeper, 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 deeper. Ooh, <laughs> mommy. My son's coming in this. Hearing messages from spirit. Yep, I've been hearing messages from spirit. Spirit is saying, I was watching. It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. And it is. It is gonna be okay. You know why? Because spirit cares about you. You know, you've been through some shit, you know, but guess what? Coming in your power. Once again, maybe you lost your power. I don't know. But you're coming in your power now. Oh, yeah, you are. You're coming in your power. You know? You got to come in your power to know who you are. You're opening to love. Maybe in the past, somebody broke your heart. It says, my heart is open. Yeah. Maybe in the past, somebody broke your heart. And maybe you got betrayed. Maybe you got you maybe you got rejected. Maybe you got disrespected. Maybe somebody even abandoned you. But remember, what did you learn from that? What did you learn from that? Did you learn to love yourself even more? You should thank them. Say thank you for the lesson. I bless you. That's all you can do. Bless them away and just bless them on their way. But you still have to live on. This is your life. Live with an open heart because you have many people, new people coming in your life too, you know. Just because one person doesn't work out, it doesn't mean everybody's like that, you know. This message might be for me. It might be for you. And I feel whoever's watching, it's for you too. You know, a lot of the times people, when they break up, they 
they're in this energy like, oh, well, I can't find anybody or, you know, they, they, they get into this negativity mode, which is so detrimental to them that which is not good for them to do. You know, they just need to let it go. I'm hearing from divine. Let go and let God. How about that one? Let go and let God. Give your worries to God, you know. But here's the thing. You got to do you constantly. 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 You got to do you. Because if you don't do you, you're going to lose yourself. Do you want to lose yourself? Never, Mary, never lose yourself for another. You must know yourself. You must love yourself. You must know yourself and you must love yourself. Because when somebody comes in the picture, if you know yourself, then you'll know them. If you love yourself, then you know how to love them too. And you'll respect the love you'll get. But if you never loved yourself in the first place, you will never recognize them. And please recognize people with your soul eyes. Do not recognize them with your flesh eyes, meaning don't be like, oh, he's hot. I want to be with him or she's pretty. I want to be with her. No, because looks fade so quickly. Oh my God, do they? What matters is, who they are in the heart, who they are in the heart space. You know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? Who are they? Are they loving? You know, that's what matters, you know? Don't look people with your flesh eyes like, ooh, he's cute. Because that cuteness goes in the gutter. It does. Yeah, you got to be physically attracted to them, of course, but you need to fall in love with their soul, not with their looks. That's what I'm getting. Because looks don't matter. They really don't. Cherishing self, yeah. It's time for you to take care of yourself. Cherish yourself. Put good food in your body. Following your bliss. Following your bliss. Just being you, you know. Listen to music. You know, music heals me. When I'm sad, I put the music on. Or when I start my day, I put the music on. When I'm brushing my teeth, I'm even listening to music. I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do, I listen to music. I like music. I like to dance. I, I, I like to be me, you know. Because I love me and whoever's watching, you better love you too, you know? Because guess what? You have to love you in order to live with yourself. Because only you got to live with yourself for the rest of your life. People will come and go, you know what I mean? But never leave yourself. You got to proceed softly. My inner power grows in the moments of quietude. Yep. Testing your intuition. You know what my intuition says to me this morning? Get up, girl. That's Jesus getting me up, saying, good morning. I said, good morning, Jesus. He goes, I know you had a rough day yesterday. I'm like, yeah, I know I did. He's like, but guess what? What is your intuition says? So my intuition says, get up. It's going to be a beautiful day. And the universe has many, many, many surprises for you. Trusting your intuition is so important. You know, if you don't trust your intuition, it's like you're not trusting the little gut feeling you're having about somebody, you know, or something. Trust your intuition. Your intuition guides you, you know. Even if you're driving someplace and sometimes something comes in, in your mind to not take the same way to work, take a different way to work today, go with that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Your intuition, I gotta tell you, and a woman's intuition is like, 
the best. I'm going to tell you a story about intuition. Actually, I don't know if I have time now, but um, I'm going to try to wrap it up here. But um, this happened many, many years ago. My mom and dad, when um, they were together, they're in heaven, not together. But uh, when they first got married, and we were very little, actually, then um, after a few years after they got married, and we were just so little, um, my, my mom intuition says from my dad had to go somewhere on on a train and my mom's intuition told her told him not to go you know and they really needed the money at that time but he had to deliver something so he can get the job done you know so he i think he had to go get something get something delivered or go to work or something like that i mean this story is like maybe um 40 years ago so anyways um so, but my mom's intu intuition kept on saying, don't go, honey, don't go. So she told my dad this, you know, and my dad's like, don't control me. I got to go. We need the money and I have to go. And my mom's like, don't go. If you go, I mean, they got into a big fight. They got into such a big fight that my mom said, if you go, I'm leaving you. And my, and my dad's like, seriously? And she's like, don't go, don't go. So my dad had this uh, guru that he used to speak to, this uh, re religious, I can't talk, this religious person. And uh, he called up the religious person and the person said, yes, listen to your wife, don't go. Because my, my dad called him up and, and, and said, she's being so difficult. I don't know why she's saying this to me. She knows we need the money and I do need to go to work across town, you know. He had to really deliver it. I don't know what it was, but get the job done, whatever it was, you know. So, um, then my dad said, okay, I won't go. Fine, I won't go. I'll go, like, the next, I'll go on the next train, the next time. So then my mom was like, oh, thank God, like, he finally listened, because my dad was a stubborn man, you know. So anyways, guess what? That train that he was supposed to go on get, got into a deadly accident, and everybody on that train died. So my mom's intuition was on point. She was guiding her husband, telling him, don't you go. You see? Sometimes you gotta listen. So my mom listened to her intuition and she told my dad and he finally agreed. So intuition is very strong, you know? Listen to it. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a nice fourth. And, um... Happy Thursday. Is it Thursday or Wednesday? I don't even know what day it is today for real. But it's been a busy week. And it's going to get busier, I heard. So, but I'm off today. Yay! Woo woo! What am I going to do today? Um, I'm going to go have some nice breakfast with Jesus, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to chill. Love you. Mm.